What's up, investors? Wanted to talk about ticker symbol FRSX. It is a, a stock we've been talking about for a couple, about a month and a half, six weeks or so. Um, we've been in it since it's been a dollar and 18 cents. Uh, I've made several videos. I wanted to give an update and uh, talk about what's caused this current gap up. Uh, in the, the last video that I made, I had said, um, you know, the secondary products were iNet Mobile and Rail Vision, and they had, they had gotten a contract for Rail Vision, and it, and it caused it to, to shoot up from like a dollar eighty to you know f you know it just settled back into that four dollar fifty cent range. In the last video, I had said I want to know more about the partnership with Fleer, and I want to know more about the partnership with Elbit, and and, and is are they building on that? Are they looking for other defense contractors? Because that's where I see the exponential growth and the future of this technology is is in that realm i love the fact that they shifted and pivoted into the COVID detection i talked about all that in in my previous videos uh, i'll have links to the description so if this is the first time you're watching a, a one of my frsx videos uh you could catch up uh, pretty quickly uh but we talked about how there was so many different things to like about this company and it's nice to see the secondary stuff driving this forward, but we wouldn't know how high up this can go until we knew about FLIR, NVIDIA, or Elbit. Um, and today, now, a big gap up, so it gets you, got me curious, what, what caused this? And I found in the news that Foresight revealed that, uh, that the iNet Mobile signed a deal uh, with, with a, a Japanese multi-billion dollar global manu uh, vehicle manufacturer. Uh, they didn't disclose which one, but they disclosed that they have a deal or or they're they're in the works with a multi-billion dollar Japanese vehicle man manufacturer. So this shot up. So again, this this goes to show the second this is the secondary products, in my in my opinion. Um the focal point is quad site, what they bring in, in that realm and and what that brings into military. Um so promising. Uh, more validation, like more to be excited about, but nowhere near is the potential, and I'm still not ready to sell. Uh, I just wanted to give that update, put it out there, and and you know, I know a lot of people, quite a few people, have gotten in this trade and been in it with me from the beginning, and I wanted to get my thoughts and opinions out there. Um, so I don't think we're anywhere near the top. There may be a, a pullback, but that's okay. We gotta you know gotta keep our eye on the on the prize down the road, um, long term. So. You know, I'm going to give it a few more months, see what kind of PR develops and see, you know, where some of this stuff goes, but definitely exciting stuff. But, but again, the secondary products, uh, great news. If you're watching, thank you so much. Hit that like button, subscribe for future content and let's talk stocks down below in the comment section.